Hey folks, how's it going? I am back with a video to show you guys how to fix uh, print files, STL files, when there's an issue. Sometimes you don't even know there's going to be an issue because everything looks fine when you're inside of Cure. But I'm going to show you what I'm talking about right now. So I'm going to open up this individual file. And I'm going to show you how this type of mistake can be made. Because you might be thinking, why not just do um, a layer view or anything like that to see it's going to turn out fine? Not everybody does that. That's one thing. And another thing is, if it looks fine here, you think think it's fine. The only thing that will set you off is if you print this by itself. And if you look in the lower right-hand corner here, how the time doesn't change. So that's an issue. I'm going to show you where you might not pay attention to the time, though. So, for example, I was printing this file. I was actually printing all these files. So I'm going to remove this individual one because I have a CR10. And I wanted to print everything at the same time besides that thing. Okay, so we're going to select all, arrange all models. So once everything was arranged and looked good, I was like, all right, this is ready. This Keyblade is ready to be printed. I hit prepare, like always, and it went through the slicing process. And once, of course, when the slicing is done, it gives you a time and you think, okay, I'm good to go. <clears throat> How am I setting? 10 hours, 35 minutes. Sounds good. Sounds about right. All right, let's do this. So then you just save it to the drive and you're good to go. But let's look at this. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to go from solid to layer view. And it's going to process the layers for me. And like I said, I didn't realize this until the print was done. And I just ended up with a little smidgen right here where, and then where the brim was at. So if you look, it's not even identifying this as a part to print. Just a, this small little portion right here. Just like this, I don't know, support layer or what have you. So I didn't realize this until the print was done. That all I, the only thing that came out was this. And I'm like, what is going on here? So I went back in. Let's go back to the normal view, solid view. Go ahead and select all of these and delete this. And I went back in and I printed this part by itself. I tried to print it by itself. So I went to prepare again. Like I showed you guys earlier the time to change. I'm like, what's going on? Why isn't the time changing? Went back through again. With the layer view, still that again. I'm like, what's wait a minute? Is it something to do with my settings, maybe? Because I do usually try to cut down infill and stuff like that, down to 10% infill density and everything, just to save on some filament and print time. But I was like, you know what? Let me let it do with just a... Uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to a setting where, let's see, the, the top one, extra fine, discard all the changes I made manually, hit prepare again. I thought that might fix it. So they gave me a time. They gave me two minutes. I'm like, that's still not right. But look at that. All I did was just add a little chunk here, a little chunk here and here. And that was it. And I still, I went through and I played with all these settings. I kept playing with the settings and it just wasn't letting me print it. And it was bogging me a little bit. I was like, you know what? And I spent about maybe 10, 15 minutes on trying to mess with the settings and stuff and nothing changed. So I was like, let me load this into a mesh mixer and see what's going on. So here's the part right here. I'm going to just drag it over to mesh mixer. <clears throat> and I thought maybe it'll show up weird in mesh mixer too. Okay. And no, it showed up just fine in mesh mixer. So I even tried just exporting a file out of here as a new STL to see if maybe just import it into Mesh Mixer, then export it as an XDL. I'll be fine. So I did that. There's the part right there. Came out as part. I'm gonna go and open it up and cure it again and take a look at it. So it is back in here. Seems good. Seems like it might be okay. I'm going to go in and go to prepare. See that? Time is still the same based on the settings. We're going to go into the layer view. And look at that. Same problem. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. So, <clears throat> I'm just going to drag the... Let me close the mesh mixer first. We can do everything from the start. Don't save. Okay. So now we're going to go in and drag the file. Back in there. I'm going to delete the part we made. And it's in there. So now that it's in here... Analysis, and then in analysis, we're going to go up to inspector, and then we're going to hit auto repair all. Now we're going to go to file, export, just I guess name it the same thing, but name it number two. Oops, same thing, two. Then save that. It's exported. We're going to close out mesh mixer. Don't save. And we have number two right here. Let's go and open it up. Inside of Cura.
All right, it's loaded up. We're gonna go to prepare. Look at that. Look at the time change. Seven hours and 14 minutes, which I printed the other one on normal, so I'm not gonna print this one on the other one, but let's go ahead and get a proper time. So hour and 38 minutes is much better for me, because if I printed the rest parts on normal, they came out just fine, because I'm gonna be painting and stuff anyway. And now we're gonna go ahead and go into, we're gonna drop it down and go into layer view and check that out. All the layers are there. They are hanging out and they are fine. And that is it folks. So that's how you fix a part. And I'm gonna I'm gonna load the broken file on here too as well, just so you guys can see the difference. Let me see, this is the bad one. There we go. Go ahead and arrange all models. Then we're gonna go ahead and slice it. Check that out. That's it, folks. That is all for this video. I just want to show you guys how to fix a part if you have any issues with it. Loading in and it's not printing out properly, you can just load it into Mesh Mixer with a couple of clicks so you can fix that part to do all the repairs for you. All right, guys. That is it. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.